don't know what kind of scent he's on. I, he keeps looking down over the hill. I think he's looking for deer or turkeys. You need to get your dog's attention back. All I need to use with his e-collar, this, this controller right here, press this button and it creates a tone in his collar. And he knows that that's time to come back and get up here. If I tone it continuously, he knows to come all the way back. If I just sort of give it just a couple quick hits, then he knows at least to, that gets his attention, that brings him back partially. Hey buddy, what's down there? When you're hunting in super tall grass and you don't know where your dog's at, you're gonna need a good recall. And right now I'm kind of regretting this. <laughs> Stay close. I can even just use the recall just to, the toner just to keep him close to me in case he decides he's not gonna follow my close command. Or I just get tired of saying it. There you go, buddy. See, the recall comes in handy for more things than just calling your dog to you. It's really a way to manage your dog out in the field. Hear him. There he is, he's right in here somewhere. Woodcock. That's what it was. Woodcock. Daddy don't have a migration stamp. <laughs> when you do use a recall, you don't always have to call them in all the way. Sometimes it's a way just to turn your dog around or keep your dog close to you. Close! Wish I could do that. Ugh. What do I feel like I'm hunting by myself? Oh, maybe because my dog's way over there. 300 yards. I have to call him in. Oh, look at that. My dog decided to join me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Bird Dog. Thanks for participating. I gotta get him out of there. Watch. Watch him come up over this hill. How easy he does it. Four wheel drive, buddy. Four wheel drive, pretty amazing what these dogs do. Right now he's just wasting energy because there's no birds in here. Come on, walk with me, walk with me. No, walk with me, walk with me. Come on, hey, get over here. Come on. I used the mean voice on that one to let him know that I I mean business here. Hey! Because we're right by the road. Heel. Stay, hey, hey, stand right there. Stand. Yeah, well, I might be a little overprotective with my dog when it comes to roads and traffic, but dogs get killed every year because their owners aren't in control of them. So. We are not hunting the cornfield today. It's windy, so that's where the whistle comes in. Yeah, so Mr. Bird Dog's way out there about 100 yards. And when he does this, when he ranges way out there, all he does is push pheasants around and flushes them. And so he's pretty much worthless as a bird dog at this point. So I'm gonna bring him in, I'm gonna tone him in. Just keep toning, just hold that tone button down. Here he comes, I see him. He's coming. He's slowed way down now. He's been running for a couple of hours, so he's he slowed down. And I, he doesn't know really know where to find me, so I'll use a whistle to let him know where I'm at. There. 
Come on, bud. Right here. Good job, good job. Come on, get some water. Right here. Here, water. Oh, look at him, Dad, how tired he is. Here, water. Sim, get over here. Heel. Heel. Come on, heel. Yeah, yeah. get that water. Here, up. Treat! Oh yeah, he'll have a treat. I'll have a treat, Dad. I'll have that, some of that beef liver, Dad. I'll have some of that beef liver anytime, Dad. Here, take the rest of it. I just wanted to do like a quick, a few quick examples of how I use recall with my Brittany and uh, talk about how important it really is to have a good rock solid recall. But Mr. Bird Dog, he ain't cooperating too much. He's, he's tired, he's, he's wore out. But um, to make a long story short here, uh, I'll go back a couple decades. Yeah, like several decades when I was in high school and a friend of mine had acquired a um, Dwarman Sheraton pointer. He called me and uh, wanted to go hunting. So we went out, neither of us knew anything about bird dogs. He knew nothing, he didn't even have a whistle. And we took that bird dog out in the woods and uh, that bird dog ran down a path and it veered off to the left. We didn't see it for a few minutes and a couple deer crossed the road, crossed the path and then the bird dog right behind it and that was it. We never saw that bird dog again. And my friend stood there like dumbfounded like he didn't know how to recall his bird dog and never saw the bird dog again. That's a pretty sad story and that happens a lot. Um, if you have a dog, any kind of a dog really, you need to have a good solid recall. But if you're gonna have like a Brittany Spaniel or any kind of a bird dog like that, he's gonna, he's a runner. He's a, he ranges out there far. And if he gets on a scent or anything, a deer scent, turkey scent, he's gonna go. You have to know how to bring him back. And what's, this is one way I can recall my bird dog. And this has a beeper on it. He has a, this button right here. This allows me to send a signal to his caller when he hears that, when he hears that beeper, he comes running. Come on, bud. Come on. And then I kind of reinforce that with maybe some like body motions and some, some, you know, vocal commands. Come on. Oh, it's really good to have visuals, like visual commands as well, because sometimes you might be in a situation where he can't hear you or you, you know, you don't have your whistle. You don't want to use your whistle. You don't want to be that guy, that person. You don't want to be that person at the dog park running around blowing your whistle all day. So you can use like visuals and, and verbals. Hey buddy, come, come see daddy. Come see daddy, want, some, want a treat? Come on, all the way. All the way, come on. Here he comes. Okay, so having a good rock solid recall, that's my Brittany Spaniel tip for the week. See you next time.